Okay, so right now the tape is playing, um, and you can see it up here on the CRT and right here on the deck, but um, that's what's just me trying to get things uh, going. So we're winding the tape now, and I'm going to capture using V Record. So um, let's. Uh, do a. I want to see what happens if we go look at the terminal. Yeah, here we go. Um, so, hello, needs to echo the world. Uh, so, the way I'm going to get started is by clicking on B record. And let's just take a second to go. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the record in so that I can uh, see what's going on here. Um, so, the record E, and that's going to bring up a new window that I'm going to have to add to the stream. So you can see I'm still figuring out how streaming works. Um, let's wait for it to come up. Alright, so I'm going to add that window to this um, I've been messing around with OBS for a while now, so I'm starting to get the hang of it. So here's here we go. Here's my V record configuration. Um, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Let me just put it right here so you can see. And then I can make this a little bit smaller. So you know this is riveting stuff, but um, I'm actually not gonna use the deck link software. I'm gonna use the DV option, the AV foundation options, and this is. Uh, I mean, this is this incredible stuff that Dave Rice and Lee Pops figured out. Um, so right now, you can see I have a bunch of stuff plugged into. Uh, these are all audio video interfaces. This is because uh, my 
studio in order to get this stream working and all the other stuff I do in here. I have a bunch of things set up, so it's kind of cool to think that I could stream DV directly from uh, the webcam that I'm using. Uh, or I actually don't know if this would work. That'd be a fun test to do. But for now, I'm just going to do DV VCR. Um, I've noticed that the unfiltered or that the quality control view for recording and for pass through. Uh, doesn't seem to work. It might uh, be this version of vRecord, in which case I'll just need to make an issue on GitHub. But um, yeah, they. Uh, I didn't try any of the other ones. The visual numerical is my favorite because it has the timestamps on it. And um, so let's get started. So I'm going to be recording visual numerical. I'm not going to do checksums uh, or QC tools. Um, I haven't tested to see if I can do QC tools concurrent with creation, but I'm running like an iMac from 2013, so I'm not confident that I could do something like that. Uh, but so we'll do no and no, I can just do this after the fact. And then the recording directory is just this G drive and then Bayback and DV capture. Uh, nothing super special there, so I'll hit OK. Um, this and then here we go. Do we want to proceed? Um, and Let's hit and end the key to let go. So I am actually capturing this tape right here. So that's uh, one. Oops, it's going to be here. One zero zero eight four nine seven okay. nine seven. Give it uh, the old. Oops, um, I forgot that's a Bayback. The way we name our files at Bayback, we do Bayback one zero zero eight four nine seven. Uh, and then add take one just because who knows how many takes this is going to take to get right. Uh, I'm going to hit enter. And I don't know, it might be, I don't know if it's what's doing. Ah, oh, okay. So it just took a second to get itself started up. Uh, the name of the person digitizing, that's Morgan. Uh, and then hit enter to start recording. So I'm going to hit enter and then hit play on the deck. And here we go. Let's see if this works. So. I think it, what it does is it waits for time code um, and the tape doesn't have anything at the beginning. So I'm unsure if it's actually doing deck uh, control or not. So um, I, of course, practiced doing this so that I wouldn't uh, make a fool of myself while in front of everybody on a live stream, but it's... Um, you know how life is sometimes. Uh, this doesn't seem to be going, so... So, seems like the deck control is what's causing the problem. So now, this has gone from a live stream to a live troubleshoot. Let's see if I can figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see some people are asking me questions. That's great. Um, I would love to screen share my OBS setup, but uh, as you well know, that's going to... Well, let's do it anyway. Let's go for it. Um, <laughs> while vRecord is completely frozen. Oh, no. <sighs> All right, one second. Let's screen share... Um, OBS... Um, I honestly just, um, yeah, there we go. So you guys can see, uh, uh, let's make this a little smaller and we can pop it up here and you can see that's, that's it. So, um, <laughs> uh, Dan Manhattan research Inc asked, Hey man, what's happening with the tape? That's an excellent question. Um, I'm going to turn the deck on. Off and see what that does. <laughs> One second. All right. Um, luckily, just so you know, disclaimer, disclaimer, these are not uh, collection holders or clients archival materials. This is uh, stuff that Payback has had sitting around that is important and is really cool stuff, but um, I'm not going to uh, accidentally destroy client materials while I'm doing this. So I think what I might have to do is I might have to get to the point where there's time code on the tape before I um, uh, I 
nail. And I just like take this. Yeah, it's on local control. Uh, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna try ejecting the tape. And we'll see what happens. All right, our tape seems happy. So um, I'm not exactly sure why the record. Ah, yeah, Stan says I have to be angrier for it to work. That may be true on the East Coast, but we are on the West Coast where we um, hold our anger in. And um, yes, we have serenity. We use the serenity now philosophy out here in the Bay Area. I will try fast forwarding and rewinding. This is pretty funny. Um, I know that this tape was struck with black time code because I was messing with it um, earlier. I picked this tape because it has some really, really funny skits on it. So um, I can try another tape. I'm hoping I have a head clog. Uh, I do have the BB head cleaning cassette available because uh, you know you have to have those. I don't, however, have my bars and toes tape available. Um, I might simply, I might have to try another tape for now. Uh, you know, of course. This happened the second I tried it. I went live. I was watching the tape run perfectly fine for like 20 minutes. And Dan was helping me troubleshoot the audio. Um, all right. Let's try another one. And of course, I'll have to go back and fix the uh, barcode. So this is um, one here. We've got it says Laney screening, um, which is maybe a little different than what it says on the case. Let's see here. I'm having trouble with this as well. I might have to chalk it up to the uh, head clog of some sort. Um, one thing I can do is. Um, here's, I'm trying to, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, uh -oh. okay, either way, I'm going to try doing the record, uh, pass-through mode, because that was working fine before, so I don't want to cheat you guys out of seeing me actually transfer the tape, um, so, It appears to be waiting for time code. Hmm. It's kind of interesting to have these problems happen like this. But I, I hope you're all enjoying this um, nice rainbow background. Um, thank you for tuning in. Oh, OK, wait. I'm getting some time code on this tape now. So let's see what happens if I hit that. Okay, so <laughs> if I, I'm gonna try some pass I, I know you can probably hear the audio now. Um, that's what Dan helped me with the, monitor, the audio monitor. Uh, Steve, I know you want to see the OBS thing, but you'll have to see that the um, <laughs> the audio is actually going through. Um, let's see here, let's move this down to here. Mm. Move things around a little bit. Uh, all right, so we're getting close because um, I'm now able to <laughs> bottom and move to bottom. 
Okay. Or I'll just have the OBS window there so that you can see it. Um, I'm actually going to hide the OBS window too, you know? Because it's not necessary. Alright, so this is the record pass through mode. Um, oh, this is the youth program. This is the end of their, their programming. So let's hit stop. And so just so you guys know, I'm not crazy. I did, I was able to get some pictures up at some point or another. Um, I think maybe part of this is not just a technical rehearsal for me, but hey, it's a technical rehearsal for V Record to see how it works. I have nothing but the utmost respect for me, Pops, and Dave Rice for having V Record work with DV. This is a lifesaver. This is, I think, going to change the face of uh, digital tape preservation in the field. So, um, as I was saying for uh, the audio, for some reason, so the audio that monitor that you're hearing actually isn't coming from V-Record. It's just coming out of the headphone output of the DV deck and then into my audio interface. But for some reason, my audio interface and OBS won't talk to each other. So I had to take, um, open up a DAW and route my uh, audio interface into the DAW as a channel and then put it out of Soundflower. And so OBS is actually receiving the input from Soundflower and not my interface directly, which is... Um, as you may have guessed, a huge pain. Um, so I've rewound the deck again. I'm just going to monitor the very beginning and make sure. All right, so you can see on the CRT and on the audio, we've got some stuff going. So um, let's try V Record again and see what happens. So uh, we're going to go back to V Record. All right, so you can't see what I'm typing in, unfortunately, because that old window is still up there. But this is number uh, Bayback 1008499, big one. And the name, of course, is Morgan. And let's hit record. Let's go. Let's see. Does it go? Yeah, here we go. No, it doesn't like it very much. So, um, this is extremely cool looking, but this isn't what we want. Um, let me see here. Uh, so this is what I'm getting now. Uh, this appears to be an issue with the report. Um, you can see here on the monitor what we should be getting, and <laughs> you can see uh, in the view record window what we are getting. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be uh, transferring a tape of the view record today. Um, it does, however, maybe I'll live stream me making a GitHub ticket for, for view record. <laughs> Uh, and then everybody can reference that for the next time somebody says I have a problem with V-Record. We can reference this video on how to make a ticket. Uh, look at this. Look at all these errors. Uh, this is wild. This is cool. Maybe we uh, can use this for some, uh, for some video art. What I think is really interesting about this is if you look down at the vector scope, um, it's like almost entirely full. It's like almost every pixel, almost every value is being used at once, which is funny because you'd think with these bright um, squares and stuff, it would just be like, I don't know, just the edges of the vitroscope. Yeah, thanks, Dan. I'm glad that you like the look of this. Uh, no, I don't think it's, it's not supposed to. I mean, I know for for certain it's not supposed to look like this. Um, I think maybe um, I'm gonna try. Let's try to try some other stuff. Uh, if I do pass through mode, you know, we just go back to regular good old troubleshooting. Um, see. So this is me in pass-through mode. Um,
Mm, Power stream mode looks pretty good. So look at that, look at that brutalist lobby there. This is great. It's very, very Bay Area. Okay. This is from 2005. So I'm probably the same age as some of these people because I graduated in 2005. Interesting. Um, so I just turned the record off for a second because um, I need to try to troubleshoot it and see what I can do. Um, no, I could capture this tape with QuickTime. There's no fun in that. Uh, there's no real rush for these tapes to be transferred. I mostly just wanted to um, see if I could uh, get V Record to work. So, just trying a different view for pass through. Um, and so, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, let me see if I can show you this. So, this is what I was getting before when I. Uh, this is the MPV view, which is cool because it actually you're able to see a bunch of different. Uh, this is conversion fail. Uh, you're able to see a bunch of different, uh, like kind of like QC tool style filters as you're transferring, which is really helpful for qualifying a station rather than having to like open up QC tools. You can just uh, do like a filter. Uh, let's see what it just looks like unfiltered. Eh? Cause I'm wondering if maybe, so this, this here, I'll show you. Um, this actually looks great. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to record it unfiltered, um, which of course, you know, is extremely helpful, but it gets, it gets the job done as they say. So let's see here. I wish I could show you this. <laughs> um, <laughs> the window options. Come on. Oh, I know what happened. Order, move, do bottom. All right, here we go. So now, if you want, this is this is so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to select unfiltered view for recording, and then I'm going to um, instead of a. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, it's very. So. No, nah, uh, this isn't extremely helpful. I'm sorry, but I'm going to give it the new ide the identifier again. Bayback one zero zero eight four nine nine eight six one or take two now actually. Put in my name and we'll start the recording and see if it goes. No, yeah. See, I'll go back to um, I'll go back to this. But. <laughs> I <laughs> thought we can hear these cats talking. So yeah, this is what it looks like again. This is what I'm capturing. So um, I suppose that I think it would be prudent if I were to live stream me making a GitHub issue. I think that will be fun. So uh, I'm going to stop the tape. Fun. And, uh, shoot, you know, I'd love to have there be music in the background or something, but I don't have any albums on DV tape right now. That said, if you just give me one moment, I can, I can put on some background tunes while we uh, make the GitHub issue, because, um, <laughs> don't blame it on V-Record, Ben says. All right, I'll, I'll uh, expect you to tell me who to blame. I guess you said QuickTime. Um, touch the headphone thing with your finger through a metal zone. Uh, I'll do you one better. One second, please.
let's see here. Oh, shoot. I have these on the wrong thing. All right, so now we should be able to hear some stupid synthesizer sounds that I'm making. Okay. So... Okay, so uh, Ben Turkis says it's just an update thing. So what is so you're saying I gotta update to the latest version? Um, let's see here. Um, yeah. I guess it does kind of sound like manual gosh and thanks for the compliment uh so ben turkis says that it's just an update thing so let's try to do uh a nice brew update and i'll get this um you guys can see me do a brew update over here uh this will be fun um i am I'll close this window for now. You guys don't need to see that. All right. So, Ben, is this a kind of thing where I need to... Um, can I get this just from Brew Update or Brew Update and Amiya Open Source? I actually... You know what? I think I downloaded the latest V record from... Uh, from the DV Rescue page. Oh no, I updated DV Rescue from the DV Rescue repository. So I'll go to the Amiya open source and uh, install. So I think so. Brew upgrade V record. Is this gonna work? Let's see. It's gonna be like no repository because <laughs> I have to... unless I we'll see. Oh no, it found it. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. I was on a version from November. November. What happened in November? Um, well, I've completely lost track of time. I have no concept of it whatsoever. Um, maybe while this... Um, Installs, I'll, I'll treat you guys to a little filter suite. Still installing, huh? Hmm. Yes, Ben. It very likely is some MPV crap because it's the MPV view that seems to be causing that problem in the, uh... Uh... <laughs> I just can't think the synthesizer is too zoned out. Uh, the MPV view and pass through is causing that problem, but we'll see. I mean, uh, I would have hoped that the latest version of VRecord would install the latest version of MPV as well. It would be really great to have this thing uh, transferred. Uh, does anybody have any requests? Oh my god, look at all that stuff it's going to install. 
Oh no. Hope it's not gonna install Python again. <laughs> it always takes like a year to install Qt, so um, I can do my stand-up set. Um, all this runs. Uh, let's see. Do any good jokes? <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, Dan, it's not a multi-mode filter on this thing. It just has a blood pass filter. And Ben, this is actually on a um, 2013 Mac that I bought from Bayback. Uh, and then it was so deathly slow that um, it was uh, it was kind of soul crushingly slow, but I opened up the whole thing and I put new RAM in it, a new hard drive. I didn't realize how insane it is to put a hard drive not the hard, the hard drive is relatively easy, but to put new RAM in these in the thin line IMAX, I actually had to take out the entire logic board to do it. Um, and I was like sweating and like cussing, and screaming, and almost brought to tears, but I did it. Let's see. Yeah, fuck QT, I agree. I would say as far as the two letter dependencies for B record, QT sucks. And then, uh, what is the other one? XZ? Yeah. I don't know what XZ is, but it installs super fast every time. So, big fan. Big fan. Um, I need to think of... So, one sec. I'll... Um, as, as I said, I'll get on with my, uh, my comedy, my stand-up set while we wait for this to... To work. Um, so, let's see. Wow, these are all pretty bad. Um, oh, here, here's one. How does music say goodbye? Adios. <laughs> Oh hey, um, the uh, the music is just a synthesizer that I have hooked up into my audio interface that I have a patch set on because we were monitoring the audio from the uh, DV tape, but that uh, didn't the DV tape wasn't working. Uh, if you. If you want to hear more stuff like this, thank you. I'm glad you like it. If you want to hear more stuff like this, uh, my uh, I have some albums on Spotify. Uh, the band it's under is Human Herb. It's like human, H-E-R-B, as one word. Um, and so we are now installing AMI. This is cool, but... Uh, I know we're going to get to the point where we're... <laughs> oh god, it does have to install Python. <laughs> I really... I would really like to get to the point where I'm streaming, capturing a DV tape tonight, though, so... Yeah, <laughs> I'll try to keep you... I'll try to keep you, um, interested for however long it needs to install this. Um... Ben, that is extremely depressing to hear. Um, do you have Weaver's phone number? I could, I could do it live with him. Give him a nice call. We'll see if he'll pick up. I, you know what? I might have his phone number. Let's see. I've gotten drunk with him at Amiya enough times. I do have his phone number. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll leave it up to the chat. Who wants me to call Andrew Weaver right now? It's only 4.30 his time, so um, it shouldn't be too much of an inconvenience for him to get a call from like an unknown number. All right, we got we got one vote for calling Andrew Weaver. Let's see here. 
since he's actually compulsively checking my emails. If I get one more vote for calling Andrew Weaver, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, this is my lifeline. I, I've already pulled the audience. That's how I figured out to um, reinstall the record in the first place, right? But yeah, so I like the idea of I'm going to do as much as I possibly can to get to the point where I don't have to actually make an issue on GitHub about this. But um but we'll see we'll see, won't we? Um Okay, alright, 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 alright. Calling Andrew Weaver. Hey Andrew, this is Morgan from Bayback. Um, I am currently live streaming me trying to use vRecord to capture a DV tape and I was having this crazy issue where uh, it all looked completely distorted and couldn't convert the DV properly. So I'm currently trying to reinstall vRecord of the latest version, but some of my uh, Twitch audience suggested that I call you up and ask uh, how to, if I need to <laughs> use a special flag to reinstall MPV or something, because Ben and Turkus seem to remember that that was involved in this. But um, yeah, uh, give me a call and maybe, you know, maybe you'll see my Twitter post about the Twitch stream and you can join in. That'd be cool. Or maybe you're busy right now at work because it's like 4 30 in the middle of the day. All right, have a great day. Bye. Uh, no luck from Andrew. Close, you know. I've always wondered that about the who wants to be a millionaire thing okay now we're getting to like the totally like mid 2000s stand-up part like do they just have the people the like the call of friends like are they like yeah you just have to be like ready then or do they just like put them in a room and they just like wait or do they give them like a few no do you, can you do you only do you have to like tell them like ahead of time the friend that you're gonna call or do you get to like pick like Five friends. If it's like a geography question, I'm gonna call Sarah. And if it's um, you know, the guitar question, I'm gonna call Dan. Or if it's a Thin Lizzy question, I'll call Dan. <sighs> Man, I just really didn't want to reinstall the view record because I knew this would happen. Because where are we? Oh, so uh, Ben, it's it's gonna reinstall MPV and Cukely and stuff as it's doing this. So it should, uh, it should be fine. Yeah, and yeah, to the thing about like not knowing your friend's number, remember that that show was like an early 2000s thing. So everybody had their friend's numbers memorized. Nowadays, forget about it. Forget about it, if you get arrested, uh, the only numbers you're going to remember are your elementary school best friend and possibly your mom, neither of which are really going to be that helpful. Um, or maybe, I mean, I think it, maybe they would be somewhat helpful, but who knows whether or not they've got the bail money. Um, installing, does anybody know what the AM, what AMI is? Oh, it's just, oh, I think it just got cut off. It's supposed to be like open source in the end and something else. So, I guess everybody in here in a MIA person, they extended the deadline for proposals to June 1st, which is nice, but uh, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do. So, if anybody wants to be on a panel, you know, let me know. I think it'd be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dan. I'm sure you have the pizza number for Springfield Pizza Joint memorized. Um, no, they're like for me, it's my mom's number because it's like two digits different than mine. 
and uh, my best friend from elementary school who I haven't spoken to in about seven years. And well, I have my wife's phone number memorized because she has a really cool phone number. Uh, I would uh, tell you it right now, but um, none of you need to know my wife's phone number. And then also I have um, a good friend of mine from college's phone number memorized because there was a year where I um, jumped into a pool with my cell phone three times in one year. And the third time I just had no money left to buy even the crappy, like nothing. I mean, this was at the point where it was all flip phones and candy bar phones. And uh, the third one, I just decided to be without a cell phone for a few months. Um, which was still possible in like 2007, I guess. Yeah, it's 2007. And I just memorized his number and my ex-girlfriend's number. Um, and nobody ever had to get a hold of me. So, and I didn't have to check any emails because I was in college. And I worked in a kitchen. So, um, yeah, things were pretty low stakes then. But I did, uh, I was adding my brother's... Uh, phone number I was adding my brother to like my family plan yesterday and I was looking at like the phones that are available for upgrading and I can get a flip phone for like three dollars a month and I was really thinking that we should probably just go to the flip phone for three dollars a month that would be really cool I'm, I'm sorry I'm boring I'm probably boring you guys to tears I, I, the, view, the viewer count keeps going up the more I talk about phone numbers um so for people who just joined, um, I'm trying to transfer a DV tape using V-Record, uh, but the V-Record version I had just wasn't working, um, and I had a version from November, so I'm trying to um, install the latest version of V-Record, but I'm on a 2013 iMac, and it's taking a long time. Uh, it's stuck at... Uh, <laughs> I guess patching AV Foundation and um, doing the, the deck link. Oh, I think this is, maybe this is just installing FFmpeg right now. Which is why it's going like, to take me so long. And um, you... Um, Dave says, so Dave says to just install DV Rescue from a DMG... Oh, I see. So I'm not supposed <laughs> It's just so the delay of me scratching my head. Uh, I'll try not to do that to you guys again. Uh, so Dave says to just use this media area, DMG. Uh, I actually did just recently install DV Rescue. Uh, okay, so now this is where we get into the danger zone. I'm going to try to... Um, Use DV Rescue to transfer a tape. Can, can you? I thought it was just that V Record captured the tapes and DV Rescue fixed them afterwards. Um, I'd like, I'd like to call a friend. <laughs> now I would like to, I would like to call a friend who picks up. <laughs> I'm gonna call Dave. Hey Dave, it's Morgan. Hey, how are you? Good. Um, I'm I'm uh, Twitch streaming, trying to capture a DV tape right now. Oh, cool. Have you tried the latest uh, NEH funded uh, grant uh, that made DV rescue? Uh, I no, I haven't actually. Um, however, somebody in the chat sent me a link to a, a DMG, so. Um, is that different than something that I would have installed via uh, Homebrew sometime last week? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a two and a half megabyte file. Like it, it's 
wallet. <clears throat> cool. And then are you trying to like play the DB and capture it at the same time? Well, I don't necessarily have to do that because um, in this Twitch stream that I've created, I can monitor the audio and the video on a CRT monitor and through like the analog audio. So I don't actually need a, like a visual transport. Oh, great, great. Dave, how did you know what they what Ubix sent? Oh, I'm like checking out this awesome Twitch stream right now. Uh, you should you should see it too. So I'm oh I'm in the middle of something. I'm sorry, I can't I can't see that right now. But thanks. No problem. <laughs> no, okay, cool. This is great. Well I'm I'm glad that I was able to phone a friend who picked up. And I'm and you can let Andrew Weaver know that. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, so now is where you see my computer completely slow to a halt as I try to uh, open a DMG file and use <laughs> Homebrew to reinstall FFmpeg at the same time. Um, it may be time for me to hook up another synthesizer to this or Serenity now will stop working. Let's see. I agree with Ben, bless the NEH. They are saviors of the audiovisual heritage held on obsolete tape media. Um, Okay, no, sorry, I, when, when, I, I believe this might be uh, something that people refer to as relatable content, but ever since I've been working from home, uh, I have about 7,000 tabs open and my computer is almost entirely unusable. Uh, So, so this is the part where I have the software downloaded and I'm getting ready to use it and I simply can't open the DMG. You'll have to, you'll have to bear with me on this one. Um, I'm kind of glad you guys can see what I can see. I think I may try downloading the DMG again. Oh, I am an Aquarius. I'm a solid Aquarius. Uh, I was asked what sign am I. So I'm a solid Aquarius. Uh, I am a Cancer Moon, and I believe a Capricorn Rising. Um, I, I don't know too much about Capricorn. I do like that one Monkey's album that's like Aquarius, Pisces Aquarius, Sagittarius Inc. Yeah, Cap Rising Club. Club. Whoa, Dan and I are both Aquarius and Capricorn Risings. That is wild. Well, maybe that's why we're such good buds. Um, <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm going to actually open Disk Utility and see if the disk image is actually mounted and just isn't showing in Finder because that's a, something that happens sometimes. I don't know if y'all have had that problem. Yeah, I think we're, um, we're at that point in the... Uh, the v record install process where like like the computer is completely like ground to a halt because it's taking so much energy to uh so much processing power to like install 
QT or something like that. Um, who here wants to vote for me canceling the install? Is that going to break everything? I guess if... If... Uh, yeah, yeah, Rising is the new AV press. Um, let's see. What is taking up all of my CPU? A little thing called kernel task. Man, yeah, so I normally I would restart my computer, but that's gonna break this lovely stream that we're having. And I would rather not do that right now. Uh, I really appreciate all the support though. I wish I had like a crowdsourced um, live stream happening every time I was trouble trying to troubleshoot some software issue. my CPU <laughs> my memory is completely eaten up by Firefox web content uh, so the CPU there appears to be at 100% right now I'm going to have to cancel this install I hope it doesn't break anything oh here we go as soon as I did that these DMGs opened up beautiful beautiful all right so I guess sometimes the answer is simply to stop the thing that's causing the problems. Um, as uh, counterintuitive as that may seem, let's see here. All right, so let's go back. Oh man. Damn, please don't say that. All right. Uh, AV, F, CTL, CMV, capture. <laughs> oh, it is performing deck control now. Look at that. Um, so, let me turn this back up so you guys can see. Um, this is cool. I'm gonna have to rewind the tape though because uh, we didn't uh, actually have it rewound. So, uh, I don't, I haven't uh, read the uh, manual yet, unfortunately. Does, does anybody um, know the command to define the record location? Let's see. Um, okay, so we're simply controlling the device with this. Um, DB Rescue H. Uh, hmm. I would like to know where to save. Oh, data will be written to dot out dot DB. So, um, let's change to PG drive, video projects, payback, uh, what do I have in here? DV capture. Okay. And, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I can uh, do the rewind. Well, we're already there, so let's go for it. All right. Um, I'm going to take the synthesizer music off. Be right back. That's it. Yeah, I have to be able to. Life's, uh, life's nothing without, you know, just a little bit of drama. And uh, I'll plug my TV stuff back in. And let's go for capture. 
So let me double frame drop. And here we go. So um, I'm not catching any audio. <laughs> I'm sure you can all hear that really nice. Uh, there definitely was audio on this tape. But that's this is the the song that Dan wanted to hear, right? Um, not ideal. Uh, let's see here. It's, this is kind of funny. I don't know where OBS went. Here we go. Okay, there it is. Um. So this is cool because um, let me see. I'm gonna just kind of adjust this so that you can see. This is a webcam pointed at a CRT monitor, so maybe not the best thing. Also, I've got like an open window right here, so maybe I'll make a, a bevel for this or something, uh, and you can see it a little better. Uh, so I it, it appears that I am capturing this. Uh, we had a frame drop. Um, I'm going to open up my recording folder and see if I, uh, yeah, we're, we are capturing something right now, um, which is fun, but I'm not able to get the audio working, which is a little disconcerting. So, oh, that's maybe because that got switched. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. I mean, we may have simply hit, oh yeah, there's no audio. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to cancel this and figure it out again. So I've stopped the recording. Wow. Hey, we, we keep getting closer and closer and then, um, Having some issues. Maybe this is why you're not supposed to do uh, live, live shows. Let's see. Okay. So my guess. So this is working now. Um, I would, if, if I had to guess, it is probably that issue that we've had in the past where it's it thinks that it's one sample rate when it starts, and then um, ends up becoming another sample rate. Uh, and so you have that like weird issue. I think that's actually probably like problem with these decks. I'm gonna just lose the first second of this content. I realize it's not preservation friendly, um, but uh, we'll we'll chalk it up to troubleshooting, eh? All right, let's see. Uh, I still have the frame dropped. And no, we still don't have any audio. So. There appears to be a problem with uh, DV capture to some degree, where it's um, it's getting stuck. It doesn't want to capture the audio. Um, great, great picture though. Great picture. Let's. One thing we haven't tried doing yet is seeing if the file that it makes has audio. Um, and it does. The file that it that it creates has audio. So um, someone's gonna have to. I know. Yeah. So I've just hit stop. I, you may have seen. I just hit stop and play again. So for some, <laughs> it's like for some reason or another when. Um, When it plays, when it when it starts, man, let's see. Jeez, I just playing from here. Uh, the deck control. I just tried to tell it to play. Um, is fine. Wait. 
what are my commands that are available? We've got play, stop, rewind, fast forward, and capture. Um, oh, I see. You do the output file name. So, um, isn't this fun? Like watching somebody read a manual live. <laughs> Okay, well, honestly, I think that this is a this is a win. Well, we found something out. Uh, there, we discovered an issue. There seems to be some sort of a problem, um, and I think the time has uh, come where I'm going to make a re-record issue. Um, I'm going to make a GitHub issue for DB Rescue. Um, if anybody wants to see that, I can keep streaming or I can uh, cut this Twitch stream mercifully short and just do that on my own. Or unless anybody has any suggestions, otherwise everything else has been really helpful, but I don't um, I don't see that this problem getting fixed because it's clearly, uh, well, one thing, I'm going to do one more thing before I let you go. I'm going to try taking the, no, you know what, it's not, I'll try it anyways. What I was going to say was, um, all right, I can do this uh, in this in the stream. So when I hit play, I, I've changed the monitor on the deck to show the audio. And you can see right here that I'm getting levels on the audio. Uh, but if I do play through the command, um, we see the video running, but no um, audio levels which is quite interesting. So my idea that I was gonna to try to do was to take the um, either the AES audio in the back or the analog audio via XLR directly into my interface, um, which, you know, if, the, if it's just that the headphones didn't wanna monitor, then that would be clear, but it's actually not playing the channels. Um, it just simply isn't playing the audio, but you can see that the, there's no um, audio bars happening. So um, just lock. it locks to whatever's on the tape, Dan. And that, that's actually a problem that we've had in the past at Bayback, which DB Rescue helped us solve, is that we had a tape that had two different sample rates on it. Sometimes uh, these decks will do these errors where they make a single frame of like, 32 kilohertz audio and then the rest is 48 but because that first frame is 32 the rest of the audio doesn't render properly but we've also seen tapes at Bayback where just like somebody has a camcorder and they have it set to 32 for half the tape and 48 for the other half of the tape and uh, you can't have QuickTime can't handle two audio rates in one file but so DV Rescue splits it up into two different files which is really great uh, but this doesn't seem to be the problem, um, at least not something that would be fixable via the uh, device commands on DB Rescue. I'm just kind of like reading through this right now. So we're really close with this, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to call it quits on this. <laughs> Um, well, thank you for uh, watching. Um, you've been a lovely audience. I, I will uh, stream this again after I figure out how to use TV Rescue properly with these tapes. But have a have a great night, everybody. This is it's always fun. Appreciate all of your support. Bye bye.